Gotta get the monkey? Let's cut the tree. In a world uncontacted and deep in the Amazon rainforest, I'm bringing you a view of the Warani tribe that you've never seen before. We are discovering the real truth of life in the Amazon rainforest. We are joining a wild hunt for anything the Warani tribe can find. We are throwing out all the cultural biases and questioning our own beliefs by witnessing this act of survival. Something our ancestors have done since the beginning of humanity. The Warani have learned to adapt and survive without the need of modern technology. We have lost in the jungle. But much of their habitat is threatened from the outside. The Warani have learned to adapt and survive without the need of modern technology. But much of their habitat is threatened from the outside by oil drilling and climate change, which threatens their very existence. But first, let's take a step back. The boat's still not here. We reached the river, but there's no boat. And we're the jungle last night. But through the darkness, there is a glimmer of light. We start our adventure on the search for the Karari vine, the natural poison the Warani used to hunt their prey. Veneno. Veneno. So there's a process where right? we go to get the vine, curare vine, and then we bring it back and then they cure it. It goes through a big process. It's going to take us around 90 minutes. Crazy, no? Crazy? <laughs> we made it. Survive. Get on here. So we got to clean here. Let's see, let's see. Incredible, esto, no? Yeah. Ah, puedo. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Welcome, Dale. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get on here. So we have the whole boat for ourselves, huh? More of the village right here, huh? Going through the jungle. More jungle. Survivor. Oh my god, it's so muddy. Oh my gosh. What is this? Get ready for level 10, boys. It is level 10 again. Dude, Nate, this is nuts. The mud pit. We're walking into the jungle. Got Ari, got Nate, got a few Warani. Where are we? Oh my gosh, getting off the boat, the mud was insane. Thank God for these boots. Yeah? Woo! Look at this. All right, so we're going this way. I see? Vale? Si, si. He's taking off his pants. ¿Qué ves? ¿Qué hay? Abeja. Oh, so there's bees up there. So we got honey. Beehive. A beehive, yeah. My favorite. ¿Ustedes tienen miel? ¿Tienen miel aquí? Miel, hay miel ahí. Si encontramos miel, eso sería increíble, como Yogi Bear. Como, no, como Winnie the Pooh. Super dense forest here. Careful, pull The vines. Yep. Yesterday I got stuck in many vines. Tu vas rápido. This guy's too fast. <laughs> He's like hiking through the jungle. Cutting. Oh my god. So deep. The deeper we go, the thicker the bush. We're going through like tiny little holes here and there. Keeps cutting with the machete. <sighs> All this to get some venom? I guess we need it, right? It's the only way for them to get any prey. Is it? Yeah, the curare. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah. Found it. You found it, right? This is the vine of the curare. Wow! You got the whole thing. Yeah, it's more like a massive branch, but it's not. See? 
work out. You gotta be careful. You might let go. Yeah, beauty. Trying for our poison in the jungle, right? <laughs> Let's not eat that. You try. Okay. Where, where is it? We're trying deadly jungle poison. Look like, right there. Be careful. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> the tongue's gonna go numb, right? Yeah, it's numbing. It's numbing. Okay, okay I'll try this like this. <laughs> nah, it's not good, man. It's super bitter. It's numbing, right? It's numbing. It's like, you can see how so it just numbs an animal. It's like an anesthetic almost. Mm -hmm. Anesthesia. Sí, sí, es como anesthesia. Sí. Okay. Hey, poco, poquito no es sí. Poquito yeah. no pasa nada. Cuando ya es bastante, uh, muy bastante yeah. efecto. This is like the unconcentrated version, and then they need to boil it down. It's like a really concentrated uh, solution that can paralyze. Like a hashish. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It's like a yeah. thick tar. Yep. That's what it looks like. So we'll see that later. But wow. Yeah. My tongue is numb. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's almost like a like the Szechuan pepper. Did the numbing? Yes, it's a little very bit. similar. Very similar. Very similar to Szechuan pepper. Let's see where they're curare. Botar bastante con eso y hacer bastante. Yeah, I'll get some. Woo! Scaring some poison. No big deal. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's go. Mm. Regresamos al bote. No, ahí hey, vamos a trabajar más. Más. Ah, so lo ponemos aquí, todo. You just drop it there, bro. Man, my lips still. Next step in the process after he found this curare is he has to shave off all the bark into this leaf. He's gonna do all this, it's gonna take him roughly half an hour. After that, he's gonna put lukewarm water and let it all filter into a big uh, you know, bucket. From there, it's gonna be put onto a frying pan and then there it's gonna be thicken, darken, and then that's where we get the venom. The containers, the, the, the poison bark, everything is just from here. Yeah, so we just finished scraping off all the bark, and now he's gonna roll it up in this leaf. You know, it's funny, because we're here, we don't like understand the moment, but this is truly exotic, unique. What are we doing here, right? <laughs> it's a big blunt. <laughs> Well, except if you smoke that, you no, you'll definitely die. die. No, no, you're done. Guaranteed dead. <laughs> I mean, if you roll this up, smoke it like a joint, you die. Amazon marijuana? Amazon marijuana, this is it. Got a little missile. It's like a giant venomous blunt. Look at this massive cigar right here. Huge. I don't think even Volpe could take that one. No, this is too much. <laughs> yeah? Listo? Let's go. Ay, okay. Let me spot it. Vamos. Let's go. It's like a fig, big nut. Mm -hmm. Very like slimy. Love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit bitter though. A little bitter. I like it. Not enough meat though. No, almost nothing. Yeah. Hay fruta con carne. Porque eso solo tiene un poco de flash. Este para nosotros decimos bagamo, fruta de diente. Mmm. Sí. Bagamo se llama fruta de diente. Teeth fruit. I like it. I feel like this is one of those fruits that has to evolve for like 3,000 years and be domesticated and then it'll be really good. You know? Money I did. Ajo, garlic. I'm giving it again. Very strong. Jungle garlic? Jungle garlic, yeah. Yeah, jungle garlic. This is bueno. It's medicina. Yeah, it's medicine. 
es para dolor de articulaciones y para gripe también es bueno. Yeah, so for fever, for your, you know, your arteries. Cool your vein, Matt. Good. Yeah, that looks like a plastic little siphon, but it's actually a mushroom. I'm sure that's dangerous. Maida's too kind. She's like, oh, you're weak. And look, she grabbed it. Mira, tú eres muy fuerte. Demasiado fuerte. One-handed. And this one's chopping down her palm tree. Crazy. Yeah? I got a meso. Una canasta. Like a basket. Oh, so they're going to make a basket out of this palm tree. Oh, nice. So they're going to chop it up. Look, 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 look. Boom. The whole life, you know, she's been playing with the machete, just chopping things down. Yeah, as you can see, she has a newborn tribe since birth, ready in the jungle. They're accustomed to it. They see animals, they've got like, Yeah, she can be two hours here in the jungle, no problem. Oh, yeah? She's gonna show me how to make the basket. She's a teacher. She knows how to do it. Yeah, same with this, uh, this basket. It's gonna be very, very strong. It can carry like un quintano, so let's say like a kilo or more. Oh my gosh, look at this. This has to got the bugs this one on. I didn't do like that. Oh, so fast. What, say like two minutes? ¿Qué pasó con la maestra? ¿Qué pasó? Le soltó uno. ¿Ah? Ya, muy mami na ya. Wow. Fendi, muy mami, no hay que estar ya. She's a master. I know people joke about like underwater basket weaving at the college course, but like <laughs> definitely, <laughs> I think she can pull it off. I think definitely yeah. art to this. Like that's pretty impressive. That's amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Como ella misma. No, ahora. ¿Y cuánto puede aguantar esto? Kilo. Sí, kilo. Kilo. Yeah. <laughs> she says she's gonna carry me in her basket. She's gonna take me somewhere. Dude, this is like a handbag. I see. That's something to carry the cassava. Ay, curare. Oh my god, she's so wild. Wow. That's not bad. See you, David. I guess, I guess that's goodbye. This is what is this? The bar. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, está muy bien. Let's go. So now, so we just made it back to the village and we're gonna filter the venom. This is so cool. Seeing everything from start to finish, amazing. Your way of life, the whole thing. in there you put the water in and it goes down and then it filters out into the bottom into kind of like brownish liquid look at that yeah and then after that he's gonna cook this he just keeps doing it over and over right we just leave it there it drips and once it's filtered out after half an hour we just leave it and it becomes like a black paste and that's when you got the curare ready it's a very slow process roughly about an hour it just keeps adding water so see it within the hour no there we have the venom. It's coming out like a nice, uh, thick brown. So one hour from now, this will all be done. He added a lot of water. 
poison. If I didn't know any better, it looks like some juicy coffee, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, you just know. Some dark roast. Like just a dark roast, yeah. That's it. Beautiful. Except cold brew. It's a nice cold brew. It's a cold brew that will kill you. Yes. Literally. Yeah. Venom's ready. Now he's going to cook it. It's a little 20 minutes of time. So the chief just told me that it's going to take only 20 minutes to cook. Once it's done, we're ready to put it onto the darts. And as he cooks it, he'll keep stirring it. Bien, no? Así? I'm going to eat money. So look at this. The chief is adding venom to these darts. So what he does is he puts the venom into a little pot, heats it up, and then it becomes like this nice, thick, tarish substance. And he gets his 100 darts that he puts into this container, takes them all out, puts the venom, leaves them here so they dry out, then he puts them back in, then he gets his blowgun and he goes for the hunt. He's gonna hunt monkeys, wild boar, basically anything you can find in the wild that's edible, he hunts it. And be careful, those darts are venomous. Now that the karari is done and the hunting equipment is prepared, we are heading by boat deep in the rainforest, prepared to stop anywhere the Rorani see prey to catch. Before we get set off, my friend Shama NYC had a bit of a surprise for us. Did you tie it? <laughs> Yo, he did it. All right, guys, we're going on a hunt, and this is amazing. We got Ari butt booty naked with the tribe. <laughs> Let's go. So we're going hunting for what? For monkeys? Oh my god. Wild boar. Ready, ready. Damn it. You look good. You look good, bro. We're going one hour downstream. We're gonna look for some wild boar. It's gonna be super exciting. They're going with a the blowgun. They got spears. I'm pumped, I'm ready. And maybe I take off my clothes now. So. See, the hard thing about wearing that little garb is tying your penis. I have no foreskin, neither does he. I don't know how he's doing it. Pain. How did he do that? A lot of pain. I don't care. I don't care. Dude, you got the spear and everything? You mean this spear or this spear? <laughs> oh god, look at this spear. It's amazing. This is too much. This it. is too much. Oh my god, you have to grab something. Yo, Sable. Sable? Yeah. 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 So Sable is a massive tree here in the Amazon. Let's walk in here. This is amazing. I feel like I'm in a movie right now, man. <laughs> What's that? Is he's your man? He's the sharpest, so I would want to be close to him. Because they start running, he'll run first. All right, so we're behind this guy. Yeah, I'll follow him. All right, this guy. Oh, ma'am. The rain has started. We're in this. Look at this tree, guys. Look how massive this tree is. It looks like Avatar. The mother tree. Wow. Wait, come in though. Incredible. We're now deep in the jungle on a hunt for some animal. Maybe a monkey, maybe a boar. Who knows? Follow me. Wow. Tan por allá? Por allá? Yeah. This is incredible, man. I feel like I'm roaming the, the, the planet of Pandora right now. When anything can come out of nowhere. Because there could be an anaconda over here, there could be a caiman. All the animals of the wild are here. 
We hear them. We hear them. Let's move. We're done. There's the guy we need to stick with. He's the sharpest of them all. He nails it every time. They say he almost never miss. Ah, I'm a little nervous. I really don't want to see a monkey get hurt. But this is the way of life here, right? This is their culture. This is what they do. This is how they survive. Keeps moving. They think they see it going that way. They think they hear it. They're making certain sounds. Try to call it. See if it makes any any more noise. It's so hot. It's hard to have this on, but it's not gonna get bit up by mosquitoes. So always been a lot of off. Mosquitoes, spiders, insects everywhere. All right, so they see it. They see it right in front of us. How are you going to do it? Bunny. Pukur my own one. Keep on doing So it's monkeys, it's not boar. I don't know how I feel about that. The amount of mosquitoes biting me right now is insane. They're coming in my face. I have to cover myself with my, my little hoodie. It's nuts here. Never ending amount of mosquitoes. Ooh, lichi. Lichi wayo. Lichi wayo. Yeah. uno? Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Single fruit. Nice lychee. Super juicy. A little crunch. It's my dulce. My Mm -hmm. eso, eso come mono bastante y se engorda mucho. Ah, sí? Sí, sí el mono se vuelve muy fuerte porque se dice mucho. Por eso cuando nosotros estamos llamando al mono no contesta. Wow. Está gordo. Es <laughs> amazing. Él está tomando el día de off. So I think we're going into a river. I'm not really ready for this. No entramos con estos? Yeah, it's gonna be up to here, bro. Going to the water now. Okay. I can't even grab anything, bro. Dude, it's cold. Cold water. There could be an anaconda, a tiny caiman, anything in here. Piranha live in these streams? Está helado, helado. Completamente frozen. Nate, is it okay over there? It's very, very scary. It's a really intense situation walking through this. We're in the jungle, deep, deep bush. All right, don't fall, don't fall, Nate. You gotta watch out. Every step is the last step. We're okay. I mean, it gets deeper and deeper, right? Careful on that one spot. Yep, yeah, I made it through, I made it through. Uh, I know, we're experts now. Oh, it's getting deep. All right, guys, I'm gonna go into this water. Everybody just started sinking. John went deep, Shauma went deep. I'm going in. Vamos a pasar por aquí. Para allá. Okay, yo me quedé, me quedé, me quedé. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're good, we're good, you? Oh gosh, this is nuts. God, this is insane. 
We keep no there. It's like you just keep sinking. Definitely worse than Dominica, bro. Definitely way worse. This guy's showing me where to step, but there's still like vines and branches, everything everywhere. So, gosh. Oh. I need a hand, bro. Ooh. Oh. The sad part is we have to do the same thing to get back. I mean, oh, damn, I just got bit on the foot by an ant. Y como cruzo aquí. Ay, ay, ay. Mamma mia. Coño. That was intense. Está bien. While we were walking up into this tree, we saw a guinea pig run by, and then he's like, hey, look, there's another guinea pig. So he saw a hole, and the guinea pig's in there, so he's poking at it, trying to get it out of here. They say it's a really delicious Amazonian guinea pig. Look at the highway of leaf cutter ants. So they have a colony in the very bottom, and then they'll make their way all the way up this massive tree, go to the very top, get some leaves, cut a little bit, and then come all the way down and feed the colony. Huge. My boy right here is like, you like ants, right? Just stick your tongue up there. Get some of them. Crazy? So right here we have like a, almost between a fig and a lime. Open it up. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Little flush right there. Nice and meaty. Mm -hmm. You're not really supposed to eat this. If you do, it's very bitter. I enjoy it. Everybody thinks I'm crazy that I eat it. Mmm, mas, it's straight up a lime. It's a lime though. We have no lunch. Here's our lunch right now. Lo hacer. This kid is gonna climb the tree right now for us. It's gonna be amazing. Y va hasta arriba. Do we Mm-hmm. A nice like spongy taste. Bite into that nut. Very bitter. Mm-hmm. Too much. Come spray it up. My feet hurt. Oh my god, they caught one bird. Go for the second bird right now. Intense. Sí, como te sientes, tú te sientes mal cuando matan al animal. Nosotros no. No. Es normal para nosotros. Sí, porque es por consumo. Sí, no es el consumo. Exacto. Que siempre cada día consumimos. Exactly. So like for us in America, we go to the supermarket every day, and for them, it's they have to go to the jungle and find their food every day. Let's go. ¿Quién quiere chichas? ¿Quién dice yo? Let's go try. Get some chicha. I mean, it's, it, this one's actually very nice. This is light. This one has canela. This is made as How do they make it? Masticando. My man here just gave me this fruit. It looked like star fruit, but nope. Look at this. Mmm, super sweet. Whoa. Mm -hmm. All seeds, nice little skin. I personally like the bitter taste. 
when you bite into it, but this one's sweet. Mm. You can smell the sweet. Mm-hmm. I must tell you, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm loving the fruit aspect of this jungle. Just delicious fruit. Ma fruta, ma fruta. They're all sour and bitter, but better than nothing in my stomach, right? That was an intense hunt. We got two birds. I got really emotional watching these guys just running through the jungle, getting them. I mean, he had a great vision on the birds and they kept hitting. Oh. So he's saying like, like this is part of the tradition. They have to go out, they have to get food for their family. They come home, they have a little bit of cassava, some yuca, which is cassava, and you know, something to eat and they, this is part of life here, right? So sometimes they get monkey, sometimes they get boar, sometimes they get bird. I mean, it really depends on what they find, but that's how it is, you know? Cultura y respeto. So this guy's been naked the whole day and it's been wild because it's been raining, there's mosquitoes, there's ants. Literally, the second we take off our boots, we got in the water, sunk deep. Sean got deep. This guy, I hope he's okay. Are you okay? Body okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. Yeah? I'm good. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit shook up, to be honest. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I forgot this was close. Yes! Careful, careful, careful. Yeah. 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 So they said the best thing to the jungle is to have Oreos, huh? Good snack? Just for it doesn't get wet. You know, it's light. And Oreos are Oreos. Lunch. You go, man. Everybody eating? I know here. No? Okay, So we got some pasta here, but I passed. They gave us some Oreos. That's good enough. Está comiendo. Sabroso. Delicioso. ¿Te gusta la pasta? Tú sabes que yo soy de Italia. Yo soy sangre de pasta. Started raining like crazy. Too much. The rain for it. You have to expect it every single day. They're gonna jump off the boat and go chase this monkey. It's a howler boat. So I don't know if you're gonna hold this. Straight up, just right out of there. There's a monkey up here. Let's get in the jungle. Where'd they go? And we gotta find them. How are we gonna find them? One the time. But yeah, let's go. The hunt continues. I thought it was over. Getting impaled. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's why I stay in shape as much as I can. These experiences. Uh, let's go. Now my legs cramping up. Lo ves, lo ves? <laughs> they kind of scared the monkey out and he doesn't get a good shot. Look, he's just putting out the darts right now. He's putting out the darts. Alright, guys. The monkey is right here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, no. 
feeling of just running after something in the jungle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. crazy. Primal. 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 So, so, primal. so, 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 but I, oh wow, so they're gonna scare by putting a tree down. What? Ah, see? Se esconden. ¿Qué moto es ese? Es un aviador. Aviador. Hollow monkey. Which is sad because we just saw the, the hollow monkey pet they have at the village, so. Dude, did he just cut the whole thing? Cortaron todo eso. Cortaron todo eso. Knock on the tree, Hanamonga comes out, and I guess that's dinner for them. Not for me. No, I will not eat that. Is everyone okay? I thought it was gonna fall. It guys. almost did. Dude, I like ran. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, it would have been. Yeah, yeah, it was coming down like this way. It was close. It was too close for comfort, guys. This thing. We're walking on the log. And we just cut. The tree we cut. So that's it. We didn't get the monkey. I'm actually uh, happy we didn't get it because I didn't really want to see that. Sí, corazón de la palma, mango mejor. Sí, sí. Sí, corazón de la palma. Perfect, bro. Have you had this before? No, I don't think so. Oh, wow. Oh, it's super nice. It's the best, man. It's the best. Heart of palm. Palm tree. They get into the middle of it. They cut it out. Very, very thick, dense. It's pretty good. I love it, personally. I had it in Brazil a few times. Mm. It's really tender. It's like a juicy vegetable. Exactly. Wow. It almost feels like a root vegetable in a way, but look at that. Super soft. Yeah. Oh my god, it's spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Muy bueno. Good stuff. So if you've ever been to Brazil or Brazilian steakhouse, you'll eat this. Heart of palm. This is a little different though. It's like shredded. Oh, I ate that. Uh, look, it just breaks up. Uh, want some? Mate? Hey. Are you pop? It's like sugar cane without the sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's really juicy though. It's got, got a lot of... Um, Dinothirst in the jungle? like Rainforest snack, right? That's good. That's good. That's good. You know what I love about it? Mm -hmm. It's gonna fill you up. Simono. Está mal, no? Está mal. Le mordieron mucho. Oh, More monkeys going for another hunt. You guys ready? I'm ready. I guess so. <laughs> they saw four monkeys. Where are they? You see them, bro. In those trees, they're jumping. Oh, they're leaping. Luckily, my boots are fine. See anything? We're getting on a tree here. Where is it? What's up? What's up? He hit it, he hit it. 
Oh, he'll fall for sure, right? Yeah, or if he doesn't fall, the kids will climb up and grab it. Monkey fell out of a tree onto another tree. Gotta <sighs> run. Jungle is intense. Stuck. 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 How to get over these guys? They're flying. We're not used to it. And the humidity level is out of control right now. Can't believe we're walking through this jungle. It's so deep. It's so bushy. In the face every second. Shut up! Shut up! This is the wildest experience of my life. This tops every other experience ever. Amazonian. Ecuador. Wow. Oh, man, I'm going to get on the damn panel. Hey, come on, you're putting me in the day. That was the most epic experience of my life. Seeing these guys both at the same time blow. That dart. They have no fear that we're going to be lost in the jungle. They know how to get back. Oh my god. This doesn't end the hunt. Where is he? Oh, there he is, climbing. She's still alive. This is nuts. The most intense hunt of my life. First and only real hunt. So I'll put it at the, at the top of my list of any travel experience ever. I feel like I'm 400 years in the past, in the middle of the Amazon jungle. The holler monkey is right above us. <laughs> He's in plain sight. Es que lo ves perfecto ahora. Hey, we're going back in the river, bro. Back in the river. 
Oh my god, my legs are so deep. My boots are full of mud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Qué difícil. Mira, mira, mira. He's right above us. The monk is injured, so he's like drowsy, right? I mean, the poison takes a little bit of time to take effect. They say like 30 minutes. And as you see, he's packing and shooting. He shot like four times in a row right now. We got the monkey. This is the second monkey we try to get. I'm not very happy with this. Got very, very sad right there, hearing the monkey dying. I mean, I get it, I get it, but personally, it hurts. It hurts a lot. I didn't want to do this again. Why'd I get into this? You know how deep it is? My entire boots are flooded. Nasty ass mud. Rainforest. Gotta clean the feet after this one. This is the ultimate travel experience ever. Going here with a tribe that has made contact with humans but still live right off the grid in their own community, away from the world. I haven't had internet for days and I feel amazing. But get ready for the intensity because we haven't stopped all day. No, but nada. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know about that, man. The uh, boat's still not here. We're like, we reach the river, but there's no boat, and we're in the jungle on this night. This is intense. And this guy has a holler monkey on him. He's about to throw him in. Where's the boat? Where's the boat? Let's get out of here. Como lo bajamos ahí? Uh, let's see how we get down. Come on, we're back, I'll do something. Come with me. Ahí. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me see. Yes, yes, yes. Puedo, puedo. This was absolutely unreal experience. It says washing up. This guy took us into the jungle. Saved our lives right here. Make sure you subscribe to his Instagram, bro, because. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Huh? Right there. I'm a man, I'm a man. 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 Dead, dead, but alive. Feel great. Can't even believe what we just did. Right, Nate? Yeah. I can't believe it. Woohoo!